Hi, in this tutorial I will give an overview of a software that I have developed. It's called Modbus Demo Software. So uh, basically in this tutorial I will give an overview of um, the Modbus uh, protocol and then I will go give an overview of the Modbus Demo Software which uh, consists of a Modbus uh, server and a Modbus client. And this software is developed using the LabVIEW programming environment. I will uh, show some examples where I use this uh, Modbus demo software and I will also so show some basic examples where I communicate with this Modbus demo software using the MATLAB uh, programming environment. And I, I will also give an overview of the entire um, source code of this uh, demo software. So let's start with the Modbus uh, protocol. So Modbus is a quite old uh, protocol. Modbus is a serial communication protocol. Uh, it was um, established in 1979. So it's quite old, uh, but it's still lots of use in the industry today because it's very simple to use and it's very robust. Today, uh, the Modbus uh, organization uh, is um, in charge of the Modbus protocol and they have this uh, web page modbus.org. So here you can find more information and details regarding the Modbus uh, protocol. But basically the Modbus protocol consists of one or more servers and one or more clients. So we can have um, um, PLCs, we can have Scala systems, we can have distributed communication systems, uh, distributed uh, control system, and we can have different types of uh, process equipment like valves, valves uh, pipes, etc. that are has this uh, Modbus protocol uh, included. So then you can, by using the Modbus protocol, we can save data between the servers and the client. Note that originally the terms uh, master and slave was used, but now slave has been replaced by the term server and master has been replaced by the word uh, client. So basically we have, can have one or more uh, servers that are storing uh, the Modbus data in so-called uh, registers. And then we can have different clients that are writing data to the server, or we could have clients that are reading uh, data from the server. In Modbus we have four different types of um, registers. And those four are coils, discrete input, input registers, and holding registers. So here you see an overview of these four uh, register types. So we have coils, discrete input, input register, and holding register. So coils and discrete inputs are has, uh, the data type boolean or bit. So these are true or false values or zero or one. And then the input register and the holding register are unsigned word. So here you can, um, so you can use those registers for storing uh, process values, etc. While coils and discrete inputs are only for boolean values. The coils uh, can be either uh, you can either write data to the coils or read data from coils uh, from the client. While discrete input has read only. An input register is read only and a holding register either you can write to it and read from this register. Let's start introduce the Modbus uh, demo software which I have created using the LabVIEW programming environment. So uh, the Modbus demo software consists of a, a server and a client. And as mentioned, this Modbus demo software is created with the LabVIEW programming environment and it supports all these four Modbus registers, namely coils, discrete input, input register and holding register. And in order to use it, you can download it from my webpage in different forms. You can either download the entire source code or you can uh, only install um, the executable applications for the server and the client. So basically you can download the Modbus demo software from my webpage, which you find here at this address. 
a menu how enter my web page you can just click here on the resources and browse through some of the resources then you find the modbus and then here you will find information about modbus in general and you can also download the modbus demo software and other softwares that i have created using the modbus protocol so you can uh, use it in different ways you can uh, either just download um, the, the an installer which are uh, installing um, the executable uh, applications for the modbus server and the modbus client so this is one option this is the simplest option but it's a quite large download but in order to use this one you you don't you can just download and install it and then you are ready to use it uh, while uh, another um, installation option is to just download the, um, the executable applications and then in addition you need to install the labview runtime or finally you can also download the entire uh, source code in order to use this source code of course you need to have uh, the labview programming and programming environment and also in addition you need to have the labview real-time module or the labview dsc uh, module in order to to benefit the source code itself but you can freely download either the source code or just uh, the executable applications so let's just start with the executable applications so in order to use that alternative you don't need to have a lab you, uh, the lab you programming environment so when you have um, downloaded uh, either the installer and this uh, package from my web page you can just unzip the file and then you will find the modbus demo server which you just uh, double click on this exec executable file in order to open uh, the modbus demo server and then the same for the modbus demo client you just double click on the modbus demo client in order to open the modbus demo client so now i have the modbus demo server and the modbus demo client in order to start the modbus demo server i can just click here on the start button and now we have the coils register here we have the discrete input register here we have the input register and the holding register you can also here specify the port the default port is 502 so now the server the modbus server is up and running and then let's start the modbus demo client as well you just need to specify uh, the modbus server address typically this would be an ip address but since now i'm running the modbus demo server and the modbus demo client on the same computer i just type uh, localhost then i just click i'm also here i need to uh, make sure that the port is the same port as that are used on the server so then i just click start here in order to start the client and now you see the server is running and the client is running and then i here on the coils i can just um, uh, click here and then you see this is now true and also the value has been stored on the server and it's set to true and also here on the server i can also set values either to true or false so you see the value is been updating here on the client so i can set different values here and then you see the client is updating according to the values that are stored on the server or i can also use the client to set the values here directly and then you see the server is updating according to these values so that's the coils which can be both uh, for coils you can write these values from the client to the server and you can read them from the server uh, like this while for discrete input here you cannot set the values from the client because it's read only so then you only can set these values uh, from the server like this but they are updated here on the client so that's uh, discrete values either using coils for both reading and writing or the discrete input for only reading values here next is the input register which you find here and also those are 
read only on the client side so then I can set a value here let's say 12 and then you see it's updated here on the client it, but as mentioned earlier these are word uh, values this means it's an integer value 16 uh, bit integer value so you cannot not set the decimal values so then you typically need to store uh, decimal values th using two um, input register so then assuming you have a temperature value on 22.4 degrees celsius like this then this information is stored over two uh, input registers like this and then here you see the same value on on the client like this so that's the input register and the same for the holding register but the holding uh, register you can both read values but you can also write these values from the client so then assume here on the client i set uh, 23.7 uh, degrees celsius or something in this uh, holding register and then these values are also stored on on the server in two different holding registers like this basically um, this is the Modbus demo software consisting of a Modbus demo server and a Modbus client and in order to use it you can just download the software you don't need to have the labio programming environment you just need either to install download and, and install uh, this software using the installer uh, or you can just download the executable application for the server and the client but then you need the labio runtime in addition, Labio Runtime is a free software that you can download and install from internet. So just go to the web, uh, your web browser and Google, type Labio Runtime, and then you can just click on this link in order to download the software. Or you find it also on my Modbus web page. Here is the link to the Labio runtime. If you only want to uh, download uh, the executable application and then install the Labio runtime in addition. So just click on the link and install this Labio runtime. Next, I will uh, provide some uh, examples uh, where I have used the MATLAB uh, programming environment. So I will uh, use these examples created with MATLAB and uh, in MATLAB I used um, a toolbox called industrial uh, communication uh, toolbox that are supporting the Modbus uh, protocol and I will uh, use MATLAB and then communicate with the uh, Modbus demo server I just uh, um, presented uh, so let's start uh, showing these uh, Modbus examples created with um, uh, MATLAB uh, basically, in order to use Modbus, you can use any kind of uh, programming language. Typically, you can create it from scratch if you have uh, in-depth uh, uh, knowledge about the Modbus protocol. Or typically, you just want to use an existing library, either it's uh, Labio, MATLAB, Python, or other kind of programming languages. So I will demonstrate in this case how I can uh, communicate with this Modbus demo server using this uh, Modbus feature that is part of the industrial communication toolbox in, in uh, MATLAB. So let's go back to the Modbus demo server which we have here. I just started and the Modbus demo client which we have here and I also started this started and I just check if everything works as expected as you see here. And then next we go to MATLAB uh, programming environment and I have the latest MATLAB and this um, industrial communication um, toolbox which supports uh, the Modbus protocol. So then I have created two uh, basic uh, MATLAB script. One here, Modbus client read coils and Modbus client write coils. So let's start with this uh, Modbus client read coils it first i need to specify uh, the modbus type which is uh, modbus 
uh, TCP and the name of the server which is just in this case localhost because the client and the server are located on the same uh, computer and then I specify the Modbus port the default port is 502 and then I initialize the communication with the Modbus uh, server where I specify the Modbus type the name of the Modbus server and the Modbus port and then next I specify which type of uh, Modbus register I'm going to use in this case I'm going to use the coils register which is bo a boolean register with uh, true or false and the start address and number of register I'm going to read and then finally I just use the read method in order to read values from the Modbus server then I just click on uh, the run button here under editor click run just add to path and then the data are stored in this variable called data so then you see here on the server this is false the first one this second one is true which is true set to one here in MATLAB the third one is true which is here one and the rest of these values are false as you see here so then I can just do some more changes here on the in the Modbus demo server and then run this uh, MATLAB uh, script once more and then you see it are able to read the values um, that are stored on, on the server I can also verify it by using this Modbus demo client and you see the same values has, uh, has been read here on the Modbus demo client and in the Modbus client written in in MATLAB. I can also go to the next um, example here, Modbus client write coils, which is the same, but here I'm instead of using uh, read, I'm using the write method in order to write some values to this uh, coil register, which I specify here. So then I'm specifying I'm going to write true, true, false and true so let's just run it and then you see true true false true so then in this case I'm just uh, writing the four first values I can also put more here since I have one two ten different registers here so I can just type zero one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 like this click run and you see uh, the same values has been now stored here on on, on the Modbus uh, demo server and also I can verify it by watching the same values here in the Modbus uh, demo client and also I go back to the Modbus um, script that are reading values here just click run and then you see I'm able to read the same values here in, in this MATLAB script. So basically this demonstrates that the Modbus demo server and the Modbus demo client is working and able to communicate with the server using MATLAB both for reading and writing values um, and I can also verify that everything works as, as expected by using this Modbus, uh, Modbus demo client. Finally, I will present the LabVIEW Modbus uh, demo software uh, project. So, uh, so far I have presented uh, the Modbus demo server and the Modbus demo client. And I have uh, shown the executable applications for the server and the client. I also created some examples in MATLAB in order to communicate with the Modbus demo server. Um, now, next I will present the entire uh, LabVIEW project for this uh, demo software you can freely download it from the same web page which you uh, find here on my web page so just um, go into this web page and on this uh, web page you find information about Modbus in general and you find information about the Modbus demo software and how you can install it and here you find the entire uh, source code for this demo project
So basically, here is uh, the lab uh, project with source code. So here, I'm using this um, project explorer in LabVIEW, and here you find the Modbus demo server, the Modbus demo client. Here you find some subvias that has been used in this project, and also here under build specification, you can, uh, if you update the software, you can build new executable applications for the server and the client. So when you have installed this uh, LabVIEW uh, project, it un unzip the file, it will look like this. So you only need to click on this Modbus demo software project, just double click on it. And of course you need to have the LabVIEW programming environment installed. And you need also need to have either the LabVIEW um, so you need to have a LabVIEW and in addition you need to have either the LabVIEW real-time module or the LabVIEW um, DSC module. So both these modules are installing uh, the Modbus palette in uh, LabVIEW. So let's start to find just um, the Modbus palette in LabVIEW. So I just create a blank VI here in LabVIEW. And then on the block diagram, you just right click, go to data communication here, and then you find the Modbus palette. And here you find all necessary uh, features in order to create Modbus servers and clients. So that's the um, software that you need in order to use this uh, Modbus uh, demo software that I have uh, created. So basically, let's start with the Modbus demo server, which you find here. So that's the Modbus demo server, and this is the Modbus uh, demo client. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Modbus uh, demo client. So then I can just run it, and then you see it's the same as the executable applications that I have demonstrated earlier. So I can start it, and start the client, and then I can specify values uh, like this. And I can stop it and stop it. And also, when if you for some reason are updating the core, uh, source code, you can just create new executable application by just right click here on the Modbus demo server, click build, and the same for the client like this. But let's go through uh, the source code in detail. So let's start with the server. I just uh, open the block diagram. And here you see the source code for the Modbus demo server. It, uh, it is um, created as a state machine. A state machine consists of a while loop, a case structure, and um, an event structure like this. So then um, the code first goes into initialize part where I just in initialize some uh, variables and then it goes to wait which is here and then no uh, lab you just wait for the user to click on some buttons here so then when the user click on start it should start or create the Modbus server and then let's see here if you have uh, an event for the start button so then it goes into this part of the code and go to a case called start server, which you find here. And then here I just used uh, uh, the function from the Modbus palette, which you find here under uh, data communication, Modbus uh, slave and create and slave instance like this. So then I start a server and then the server are up and running and then next it either uh, reads data from the different registers so it continuously read data from the coil register using this read coils function it reads data from the discrete input register next it reads data from the um, uh, input register and finally from the holding register so continuously it reads data and present them here on, on the user interface and also if the user changes information by clicking here an event uh, 
a core. So let's assuming the user clicks here on the coil register here. Then uh, the library program goes into the event structure and then the coil register value change and then it goes to write coils, which you find here. And then it is updating uh, the coil register with a new value that has been changed from uh, from the user and the same for the for the other registers so basically this is the modus demo server and the same for the modus demo client it is um, developed in the same way using a state machine consisting of a while loop a case structure and an event structure like this And then it continuously read data from the different registers, from the coil register, the discrete input, input register, and the holding register. And then also you can write to the coil register and the holding register. So basically, uh, that's the LabVIEW source code for uh, the LabVIEW uh, Modbus demo server and the LabVIEW Modbus demo client. So that's all for now, so good luck with uh, your Modbus applications, thank you and goodbye.